Hello, this is D. Alfred Ostrowski, and in this recording, I'm going to be giving a demonstration tutorial of the Prometheus software application monitoring tool. I'm going to be using an Amazon EC2 instance as usual, and assuming no prior knowledge or installation other than having an Amazon account and some putty software to connect or some kind of client software to connect to your Amazon instance and having generated a PPK key. So let's get started. I'm going to launch an instance and we're going to get going here. So I have a Ubuntu instance I'm going to use and I don't need a lot of horsepower. I'm going to use a T2 free tier micro application and the PPK key that I have generated. So I'm going to get that up and running and immediately set up a Putty terminal to connect. As usual, all the commands are going to be posted on a GitHub. And you'll be able to grab that and immediately follow through and get up and running very quickly with Prometheus. So I'm going to set up my client connection here, my host name appropriately. Connection timing and adjust the font size. Now I don't have an application on this machine, so I'm going to actually be using Prometheus to monitor some of its own activity, which is very convenient. And again, a very quick and dirty way of getting started here. So now we're going to use a pre-established Dockerized version of Prometheus. So to do that, I'm going to need ins to install Docker on my instance. And I'm first going to have to start with a pseudo app update that's going to give me the prerequisite software for Ubuntu. So that's installed. Now I'm going to install Docker, sudo snap install Docker command. Following that, I'm going to pull down my containerized version of Prometheus. Again, you can do your own build, custom build with it and configuration here. We're going to do it very quick and dirty and pull down their Dockerized version. That will eliminate any additional software being installed because it's go going to be all self-contained. So I do a sudo docker pull prom Prometheus. I'm going to use a couple extra docker commands here to set up a network for the monitoring capability. And I'm going to create my network as the name network. So remember that name is move forward and I'm going to create a volume from which to store data on using pseudo docker volume create. And I'm going to call the volume Prometheus data very appropriately. You need a YAML file to configure Prometheus. So I'm going to use my VI editor and bring in my YAML configuration. And I'm just going to cut paste this in again. I will make this available on the GitHub and you can do exactly what I'm doing here. We set up a scraper interval, a job name, and just some static configs. I get away with the local host, even though I'm on a DNS, because this is configured locally, so it does know what its local host is as compared to browser access, where, again, I have to typically set my DNS. So this is going to be running on port 9090, and I've... completed all my commands installed and now we can run it out of the docker file here so let me pull in that command i'm going to run a sudo docker container run named prometheus using the yaml file and the data volume is set up at 9090 and the dockerized name of the file 
So we see it's starting up. Doesn't look like we have any errors. So we actually have a built-in monitoring capability with Prometheus that we can also access immediately. And though it's not extensive, we can take a quick look at some of the data that's coming out of this. So I'm going to copy my DNS. And before I do that, I'm going to set the security to make sure I can access it from the browser, which I typically can't do. So I'm going to set up my appropriate inbound rules, do the edit inbound rules, all traffic, and anywhere at before, save my rule. And then I can go back to my instances and make sure that I grab my DNS and I should be good to go on 9090, which is the port that I've launched to that. And now I have the console for Prometheus and I'm already set to start looking at some of the parameters here. I can click on status and down to targets. And you can see here, I have my endpoint set up with the localhost 9090, and that should be appropriately set up. I don't have to put the DNS for that. And then here I can prompt to start typing in go under the graph section and I have any number of parameters that I can monitor. I'll just take something arbitrary. I take the GC duration seconds and execute that. Try another one here. Oh, these are tables, yeah. So let me, the little graph is a little more impressive here. So I typed in the graph and there I go, I already have some of the values being presented here and I can modify that as well and have the real time update to view that. So that's about all you need to do to get Prometheus up and running on an Amazon EC2 instance. It's very convenient again with the Dockerize version. So good luck with it again. The commands I use and the ammo file are stored on the GitHub that will be associated with this video. And thanks for listening. Hope you enjoyed it. Got any questions or issues, feel free to reach out to me. Take care. Talk to you soon. Thank you.